All righty. Good morning, yogis. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from Thrifty Region at Liberty Harbor in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule, as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment. My handle is simhayogalab. Four-digit ID code is 8096 if you're prompted for verification. Online classes are $10, $5 if you're having a difficult time right now. I'm streaming on Instagram and on Facebook, and the videos are then uploaded to my YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. You can visit any of those platforms for classes anytime. Today's class is Intermediate Advanced, is level two, level three. Um, if you're working with any kind of injuries or special conditions, limitations, please make sure you modify as you need or skip poses altogether. If we're taking um, some time in a pose and we're holding it, you can always explore and play with any kind of variations you like. All right, sitting up tall. You guys feeling good? Any injuries or anything? Okay. Palms face up. Fingers in piano mode. Three on together. Inhale. Ah. Keeping the eyes closed, hands together in prayer, mantra for purification. Om Mapavitraha, Om Mapavitraha, Pavitrawa, Pavitrawa, Sarwa Vushtan, Sarwa Vushtan, Katopiwa, Katopiwa, Yaha Smari, Yaha Smari. Bundri Kaksham, Bundri Kaksham, Sabahya, Sabahya, Bishyandraha, Bishyandraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Starting to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Chin toward the right shoulder. Release back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release back to center, drop left hand, chin toward the chest, big circles with the head in one direction. The gentle, easy circles, moving the neck and shoulders. One more giant circle, chin back toward the chest. And then taking the opposite direction. Back to center again. Lift the chin parallel to the floor, neutral spine, extending the legs forward, separating the feet. Turning your toes toward each other, and then roll out. Draw in, roll out, draw in. Outer rotation, circling. Back to center, switch them around. And then back to center again. Cross your shins, opposite shin on top. Raise the arms up high, extend, twist to the right on the exhale. And now back to center, exhale, other side. Back to center again. Side bend, right hand down, left arm overhead. Back to center, other side. Center again, legs forward, forward fold. I just wanna point out, even with this clear blue sky, there's the moon. 
crazy, right? <laughs> All right, coming back up, swing the legs back behind you, down dog. All right, back to stillness in the down dog. Raise your right leg up, three legged dog. Exhale, right knee in towards the nose and round. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Extend the right foot back up, step it forward, warrior one. Extend the arms out to a T. On the exhale, draw the arms in toward each other. Inhale, open and draw as far back as you can. Exhale, draw the arms in. Inhale, open up. Draw the arms in. Inhale, open. Stay here. Take it with a back bend and open up the chest, looking upward. Come back to neutral. Raise the arms up. Warrior one. Exhale, open it up. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Modifying with the arm to the top of the leg if you need to. Otherwise, hand to the floor. Left arm up. Extended side angle, left palm facing down, reach forward, get lengthy through your left side. Half bind, left arm up and behind you, let your shoulders stack. Keep the half bind, come up, reverse, warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back and lower all the way down to the belly, three progressive cobras. Inhale, lifting up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Full extension of your arms if you have it. Otherwise, keep the elbows slightly bent. Bhujangasana. And bending the elbows, coming all the way down. And then child's pose. Feet toward the heels, stretching lower back. And take it back, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hip, bend the left knee. Extend the left foot back up, step it forward, warrior one. Extend the arms forward. On the inhale, open up the arms. Exhale, draw the arms in toward each other. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. This time, inhale, open. Stay open. Take into a slight back bend as you look upward. Come back to neutral. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Warrior. Exhale, side angle. Modify as you need. Otherwise, left hand to the floor, right arm up. Extend it, side angle. Right palm facing down and reach forward. Half bind, right arm up and behind you. Keep the half bind, come up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, and lower all the way down. Three progressive cobras again. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, even higher, fullest extension you have, and hold it. And all the way down into child's pose. Fold this pose. Take it back up. Down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee in towards the nose. Kick it up. Open up the hips. Bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm in touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist, touch your left arm, kick it back up. Stepping, right foot forward, warrior one. Left hand touching the right wrist, extend, side bend left. Take it back up, switch hands, extend, side bend right.
back to center, wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, looking up again, ecstatic warrior. Bow forward, devotional warrior. Face back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. In a reverse warrior. Lengthen out the right leg for triangle. Again, modifying, hand to top of the shin if you need it. Extended triangle, left palm facing down, reaching forward. I find it, left arm up and behind you. Keep the half bind, come all the way up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back. Lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale, come all the way up, Bhujangasana. Once you have your back bend, look towards the right, past your right shoulder. Back to center, look towards your left. Back to center, lower all the way down, and then child's pose. Then take the left forearm down to the floor, turn your left forearm, forearm in, 45 degrees, right arm up and behind you for your twist. Raise your right arm up and to the front, extended. And then switching sides, right forearm down at a diagonal, left arm up and behind you, half bind to twist. Raise your left arm up and forward, extended. Take the left hand back down, walk it back forward, down dog. Inhale, left you up. Left knee in towards the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee out, stop the left arm to touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Right. Uh, okay, it's okay. Left arm up, side bending to the right. Kick back up. Switch hands, extend, side bending left. Back to center, wrap the hands back behind you. Others, I'm on top. Lift up, gaze up. Bow forward, devotional. Take back up, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse, warrior. Lengthen out the left leg, triangle. Modify as you need, hands to the top of the shin. Extended triangle, right palm facing down, reach forward. Half bind it, right arm up and behind you. Keep the half bind, come up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, and lower all the way down. Lift all the way up into Bhujangasana. This time, uh, walking your knees a little bit wider, bending at the knees, touch your toes if you can, and then look back over your left shoulder. Back to center. Look toward the right. Back to center, and then reach the crown of the head towards your toes. Come back to neutral, release your legs all the way down. Child's pose. All right. 
I know. I asked my nieces to do it years ago. The first time they ever did it, I mean, the first time I ever asked them, no problem. <laughs> they were like seven years old. All right. Take your right forearm down again. Raise your left arm up and behind you for the twist. Keep the half bind, raise the uh, torso, raise your right arm up, bend your right elbow. <laughs> and the right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, take it back up. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, back up. Right elbow, left knee. Staying there and twist. Inhale, all the way back up. Take it forward again and reset on the other side. Left arm down, right hand back behind you and twist. Then lift the torso up, raise your left arm up, bend your left elbow. Left elbow, right knee. Inhale, take it back up. Left elbow, right knee. Inhale, take it back up. Left elbow, right knee, stay there, twist deeper. Inhale, all the way back up. And then walking your hands forward, down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee to outside of the right arm. Down the outside of the right arm, inside of the right arm, and lift. Down the inside of the right arm, outside of the right arm, lift. Kick it back. Open up the hips, bend the right knee. Staying there, or if you can, raise your right arm up alongside the body. Find the right hand to the right foot. Into a back bend. Release. Raise your right leg back up. Three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Bend your right elbow. Left hand to right elbow. Lean it up and back. Take it up to vertical, side bend left. Back to center now. If your shoulders are tight, stay here, hand to elbow. Otherwise, reach your left hand back behind you. Reaching for the upper right shoulder blade or take the bind if you have the bind. Wherever you are in this pose, just take it back into back bend again. Come back to neutral. Keep the spine neutral and hinge forward at the hip. Stay in a diagonal. Now, if your shoulders are tight, maybe even with the bind, this is as far as you can go. If you have more reach and you want to bow forward to come into devotional warrior here, go ahead. It depends on your shoulder flexibility here. Maybe at a diagonal, be folding forward. All right, make your way back up to warrior one shape. Reconstruction of your joints, releasing your binds, left hand to a fist. Extend the left arm out, derotate your fist, bend your left elbow, release your left fist, reach your left arm up, reach your right arm up. Warrior one, open it up, warrior two, reverse warrior, exhale, bound side angle, right arm underneath to take the bind. If you want to stay in just a half bind, just stay in half bind. For those of you who have more flexibility to lengthen out the right leg, a triangle in a bound position, take it. Again, you can also take a half bound position. If you want to tip forward for bound half moon, step the left foot forward a little bit, shift the weight to your right foot, pick up the left. Stay there, or finally, bird of paradise. Step the left foot down, switch legs. Pick up the right foot, maybe extend. Okay, 
When you're ready to break, step it back down, hop the left foot back, releasing your binds. Inhale, come up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back. Lower all the way down to the belly. Sphinx pose, walk your hands forward, forearms down. Grab opposite elbows to measure out your shoulders. Take the forearms back to parallel. Press your belly down, lower ribs down, and lift the chest in opposition. Make sure you also measure out your shoulders and your elbows. You should end up with 90 degrees in the arms. Turn the left hand in, 45 degrees. Bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, grab the foot and kick back. Release, back to center, switch sides. Right forearm comes in, 45 degrees. Bend your right knee, reach your left hand back, grab the foot and turn to look past your left shoulder. Release, take it back to center, draw the elbows out, walk your hands back, child's pose. Supreme headstand, supreme forearm stand. Left forearm comes down, right hand in tripod. So if you're taking a headstand variation, it comes to floor first. You can take the head, uh, halfway between your forearms, or you can take the head closer to your elbows, your choice. Right hand is roughly um, uh, parallel to your left elbow. All right, or you can take the forearm stand variation. You're looking down to the floor, your head does not touch down in the forearm position. All right, start to break, make your way back down, walk your hands back forward, down dog. Inhale, left heel up, left knee, outside the left arm, down, outside the left arm, inside the left arm, and lift, down the inside the left arm, outside the left arm, lift, kick it back up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Staying here, or start to shift to your right hand, right foot. Raise your left arm alongside the hip, or bind the left hand to the left foot and kick it back. Begin to release, raise your left leg back up, three like a dog. Stepping, a left foot forward, warrior one. Bend your left elbow, right hand to left elbow, lean it back for the back bend. Take it back up, side bend to the right. Stephanie, do you have the correct leg? Or Okay. Okay, if that's the case, side bend that way. Yep. Come back up. Wrap the right hand back behind you. So, of course, if your shoulders are tight, stay here, right? Otherwise, reaching for the upper right shoulder, uh, left shoulder blade. If you have the bind, take the bind. Wherever you are in the pose, lift it up and back for the back bend once again. Come back to neutral. Keep the neutral spine. Lean it forward to a diagonal. If your shoulders are tight, maybe this is good enough. If you have a little bit more range in you and you want to bow forward for the full devotional warrior, take it. Inhale, draw all the way back up to neutral. Reconstruction of the joints, releasing your binds, right hand to your fist. Extend the right arm out, derotate your fist, bend your right elbow, release your right hand, Raise your right arm up, raise your left arm up, warrior one. Open it up, 
Warrior two. Reverse Warrior. Bound side angle. If your shoulders are tight, keep it in a half bind. Remain here if this is good. Or lengthen out the left leg if you have the hamstring flexibility for the bound triangle. Staying there or working on the balancing. Bound half moon or half bound half moon. Stepping on left foot, raising your right leg. Or bird of paradise. Switching legs, stepping on the right foot, and pick up your left. Begin to break, make your way back down, step the right foot back, release your binds, inhale, come up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to floor, left foot all the way back, lower down. Now walk your right hand forward just a little bit and lift up to Bhujangasana. Bend your right knee, reach back with your left hand and then kick back. So this is a little bit deeper than the forearm, stand, uh, forearm variation of this a twist and back bend. So if you need to come back to the forearm position, take it. Release, switch hand. Left hand to center, a little bit forward. Bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, kick it back and twist. Release, lower all the way down. Child's pose. And then supreme arm balance, headstand or headstand variation, the second side. So this time, right forearm is down for the uh, forearm stand position. Left hand is in a tripod. So left hand is, that, um, is horizontal to your right elbow. The head can come to the middle, uh, between, uh, in the middle of the forearm, right? Or the head can be closer toward the elbow. So. Uh, there are different ways of going into it depending on your balance. So you can take the hip stand variation. Or you can take the forearm variation. Yeah. All righty. Begin to make your way back. Down, up. Then bend the knees. Walk or jump your feet forward between your hands. Feet together. Knees together. Bend the knees. Pick it up. Cheer. Stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee, tree pose. Once you steady a tree, you can choose to stay here or take the variations you like. So options could be wrapping hands back behind you, side bending to one direction, if that feels good. Maybe you can just interlace your hands, reach up, Maybe even add a back bend, right? So those are uh, more simplified variations that you can take. If you want to take a little bit more advanced variations, they can be half lotuses into forward folding, tiptoe balances, etc. They can also be flying crow shapes, ankle to knee. Ankle to knee could be twisting shapes into dragonfly to the left.
All right, let's make your way back up to your tree. And with the arms up, draw the right knee forward through the warrior three. Step it back to your warrior one. Open it up, warrior two, lengthen out the left leg, turn the left toes to the right side, foot straddling for a bend. So measure out your feet, toes are slightly closer, hands to the hips, lifting up to prepare with the back bend. And then come forward with a straighter spine, straddling for a bend, let the hands support, re-lengthen on the inhale, exhale, take it forward. You may stay in a simple forward bend. You can take some variations in the forward bend. For example, yoga toe lock, grabbing the heels, using my resistance to go a little bit more deeply. You can turn your hands the other way. Uh, ground your palms and using your palms as grippers to give you a deeper forward fold with more resistance. Those of you who like to twist or invert, go ahead and take whatever you'd like. More simple twisting could be tripod with the left hand, right arm up, maybe a half line. Take a few breaths, take it the other direction. All right, let the hands come back to your floor, skandasana, bending your right knee. Draw the feet towards the right heel. So try to keep the right heel down if you can. If that is too much for your Achilles, right? You can stay on your tiptoes, but try to support with your hands, right? If you're shaky here, keep your hands on the floor. However, if you're pretty balanced and you can be on your tiptoes and hands together in prayer, that might be a good option for you. Otherwise, you're working with the heel down, maybe hands together in prayer, maybe binding. All right, releasing. Let's stay in the skandasana squat, but fold over your left leg. So left hand to the floor to outside the left leg and fold over the left leg, getting into the hamstring stretch here and lower back stretch. Begin to release and sit all the way down. Let's take the full skandasana, left hand to grab the right ankle. Side bend over the left leg. Either reach your right arm over the right ear, reaching forward, or if you can take a bind of right hand to left foot, go ahead and take it. Begin to release, take it back up, keep the legs, and let's twist to the right. Back to center, counter twist to your left. Stay here, last option, stay here in the neutralizing twist, or one leg of crow variation, go forward, right knee to back of the right arm, left leg out to the side. <laughs> All righty. When you're ready to break, let's make your way back up. Step the left foot back down as you support with your hands, crawl forward. Take it all the way up into reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. In our one breath, 
exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. That's a simple chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Bend the knees, inhale, one breath. Walk or jump, your feet forward between your hands. Feet together, knees together. Rise up, chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee, tree pose. Once you study a tree, repeat what you did on the first side. So if you took the hands back behind you, interlace with the other thumb on top. Side bending left. Those of you who took the hands together and prayer interlacing, reaching forward, up and back, take that again. Those of you who took half lotuses, forward fold, tiptoe balances. All right, or flying crow. And to floor, dragonfly to the right. When you're ready to break, come back up to tree, through your warrior three. Step it back to warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen out the right leg, turn the right toes to the left side, hands to the hips. Inhale, lift up, pull your back bend. Exhale, forward fold. And of course, you have always the option of re-lengthen and forward folding again, or you can go straight to the forward fold. Always thinking about the methodology in which you come forward. Try to keep a neutral spine, right? So rather round, rather than rounding at the mid-back to come forward, try to keep a neutral spine and hinge at the hip. And take your time, allowing the body to slowly take shape. And those of you, again, working on additional variations, right? You have many options for your forward fold. This time, if you took a twist already and you want to forward fold over one leg, walk over to one side and fold toward that leg. Take a few breaths, and then you can go the other direction. Alrighty, when you're ready to break, skandasana. So hands to the floor, start to bend your left knee, rotate to the right heel, pivot to that heel. Alright, so either stay here, hands together in prayer. Those of you who took the bind around the shin, take it there. And as a reminder, those of you who are um, having difficult time drawing the left heel down, and you must stay on your tiptoes. Try to support with your hands, right? Very uh, challenging balance here if you don't have to feel down. All right, so you're vulnerable here. So I don't want you to take the hands away from the floor, get shaky, and then fall out, and maybe twist the ankles, right? So make sure if you need your hands, take your hands. If you can easily balance, you can take it there. All right, let's start to fold over the right leg. So right hand to the floor and then fold over the right leg. So you're still elevated, right? Do the best you can. All 
All right, let's take the full pose. Lift back up, take the seat down. Right hand to your left ankle, side bending over the right leg. You can reach your left arm forward or take the left hand to bind to the right foot. Skandasana, God of War. Release, take it back up. Let's twist to your left, wrapping the right arm around your left knee or the right elbow to the left leg. Back to center, counter twist to the right. You can press your left arm to inner left leg. So your option here, stay here in the neutralizing twist. Feels quite nice. Or try for your one leg crow. So you're going to take the hands forward to the left side. Left knee to back of the left arm. And then right leg out to the right side. <laughs> it's always about the best you can, right? So just reinforcements every time you keep taking that shape, you just try to refine it. All right, let's start to break. Make your way back up. So using your hand support, right foot forward, come up into warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up, left knee in towards the nose, pigeon. Land that shin to the floor. Elongate through the spine, set up your hips. And then once you're ready, make your way forward. Okay, once you get a few breaths in, you can choose, again, to stay here. Passive pigeon, very nice place to be. Just keep it simple if you want. If you really like to take your variations on uh, twisting in a forward fold, twist into one direction, twist the other direction. Binding for your um, uh, mermaid poses. I'm going to take a forearm stand today. So in your forearm stand, you're going to uh, let the forearm stay down. Lift the feet up. Walk your right foot in. So the right extended leg walks in. So that becomes your support. Then switch legs and your left leg goes up. All right, so right leg is down, left leg is up. All right, when you're ready, make your way back up, take the left seat down, swing the right leg forward. Let's take a body chiasana variation. So keep the left heel in, intersect your right ankle on top of the right heel on top of the left ankle. Left hand to floor for support, right arm is up, 
fold forward, uh, take a bind if you can, and fold forward. Now, if the bind is too tight for you, then you can fold over, right arm reaching forward, left hand to support to the side, and fold. Take a few more breaths there, or again, working on the shape of a water like a crow with this variation on the um, Marisyasana. So keep the right heel intersecting with your left ankle, right? So this shape does not change. Coming forward, it's the right knee to back of the right arm. Your left knee is free. There's another shape on one like a crow. That's right, when you're closer towards center, uh, and also your heels are supporting each other, so it helps you to balance your local control. All right, and then one more option, lifting back up. Take the right foot further forward, and take left ankle to right knee, and step the right heel in. I'm working here, take the hip opener. Left tricep to solve the left foot and twisting here. All right, and this could be a nice way for you to transition into dragonfly. So you just lift back up. All right, start to release, extend both legs forward, and let's take a forward fold, arms up, and fold. Take it back up, cross the shins, walk the jump back, Chaturanga up dog, down dog. Second side, right leg up. Right knee in towards the nose. Line the shin to the floor. Set your pose and make your way forward. And so again, once you get a few breaths in, those of you who worked on additional variations, feel free. All right, so you can twist one direction, twist the other direction. If you took your mermaid, take your mermaid. I'm going to work on a forearm stand again on this side, just to ease things out. So forearm stay on the floor. Lift the feet and step the left foot in. That becomes your support. Right leg goes up. And so this is the example of if you're holding onto a pose, you have the option to kind of explore.
explore, especially those of you who have a little bit more experience. This is your time to kind of play with the things that you're always working on um, or things that you really like. Okay? Or if you wanted to stay nice and simple into your passive pigeon, it's a great place to find your hip opening and just to kind of quiet things down. Alrighty, let's make your way back up. Take the right feet down, swing the left leg around. So the Marichyasana variation. So the left heel intersects the right ankle. Right hand to floor for support. So you actually tip to the right a little bit. Keep the left shin vertical. Left arm up and reach forward. And this could be good enough for your Marichyasana variation. Or take your bind. And hold. So your option to take a few more breaths here, or if you tried the one-legged crow variation on here. So again, so this um, lock here, right? The left heel to the right ankle does not change. It just stays like that. You lift up, walk your hands forward. You might want to also flex your right foot and that keeps your foot in place. The left knee to the back of the left arm, the right knee is free. So most of the weight is on your left side. And so that's a very nice way for you to start to experiment with uh, an arm balance like a crow, but make it asymmetrical. All right, starting to finish. Move your left heel forward. Then it becomes right ankle to left knee. Let's first walk your left heel in. Keep your right foot flexed and working on the hip opening. And then we'll add the twist and the dragonfly if you want it. So stay here or uh, we took a twist first. Tricep to the sole of the foot. Alrighty, let's start to finish up. Take your legs forward. Let's forward fold again. Arms up and fold. Then lift up and lower onto your back. One back bend, bridge or wheel. So once you're on your back, bend your knees, walk the heels in, feet up by hip twist with your fingertips, heel for the back of the heels. Once you set that, press your heels down, lift your feet. If you're keeping in the bridge here, um, keep your forearms down alongside the hips or interlace your hands underneath you, making a fist, and then walking your shoulders in. If you're going for a wheel pose, you can go ahead, hands to the shoulders, Elbows up and lift. All righty. When you're ready, start to finish up, lower all the way down, and then gently draw the knees in, hugging the knees and stretching your lower back. Recline twisting, left knee stays in, right leg goes up. Left arm out to a T and twist to the right.
about the center, switch legs, switch arms, twist to your left. Back to center again, hug both knees in. Then step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, shove off and up on a relaxation. See the separated toes turned out, arms alongside the body, palms face up and let it all go. Begin to draw the breath back in, moving your fingers and your toes. Reach the arms overhead, just in opposite direction, and then rolling over to the right side, coming up to a comfortable cross-legged position. Even feet lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for all. Um. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, feeling in the practice. And I'll come up. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here today. And thank you for joining me and sharing your practice. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule as well as my payment information and thanks for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment. My handle is Simha Yoga Lab, and the four-digit ID code for verification is 8096 if you're prompted for it. Online classes are $10, $5 if you're having a difficult time. And I'm streaming on Instagram and on Facebook, and the videos have been uploaded to my YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. Visit any of those platforms for classes anytime. All the information is on my website. Go ahead, uh, go to simhayoga.com and click on any of the icons to jump right into the platform. Thank you so much. Be well. Take care.